Hello everyone and welcome to CAD CAM C tutorials. Here in this video we will create a 3D model that you can see on the screen right now. So let's begin it. So let us first create a new part and for that we will go to the file new and select here part and ok. Now first we will create a background plan white so we will select here plan white. Now here we can see the dimensions of this 3D model. So in order to start this 3D model, let us first create two concentric circles with a diameter of 24 and 48 mm and we need to extrude it for 16 mm. Let's go to the SOLIDWORKS, we'll go to the sketch and we'll select here right plane as a sketching plane. Now let's go to the circle and we'll create a two concentric circles like this. Then we'll go to the smart dimension. This bigger one is of 48 mm, and the smaller one is of 24 mm. Now, here we can see that the sketch is fully defined. So, we can exit the smart dimension and we can exit the sketch. Now, we'll go to the features and we'll select here extrude boss feature. Now, here in our case, we need to extrude it on both the direction of the sketching plane. And for that, we'll select here the mid plane. And we know that the depth of extrusion is of 16 mm. So, we'll specify here 16. And OK. Now, after creating this central portion, we can see here that we need to create a kind of two flanges. So, in order to create these flanges, we need to create two concentric circles with a diameter of 16 mm and 32 mm and at a distance of 60 mm from the center of this circle. So again we'll go to the SOLIDWORKS, we'll go to the sketch and we'll select here this face as a sketching plane and normal. And now here also we need to create the same two concentric circles and for that we'll use the convert entities feature. So we can select convert entities and we can select all the edges and it will get converted into the entity or sketch. So let's select both the circles and OK. Now here we need to create two concentric circles over here at distance of 60. So we'll select here circles and create two concentric circle like this. Now we'll go to the smart dimension. The bigger one is having diameter of 32 and the smaller one is having diameter of 16. The distance between the centers of the circle is of 60 mm. Enter here 60. Now here we can see that the sketch is not fully defined. So we we'll select the center of circle and the center of the circle or let's say origin by pressing the control button and we we'll select here horizontal as a constraint and OK. So here we can see that uh, the sketch is fully defined. Now in order to make a close sketch, we need to create the lines and for that we'll select here line and we'll draw a random line like this. Now we need to make it tangent to the circles. So we'll select here line, press control and select here the circle. Here we can use this tangent as a constraint. Again we need to do the same for this line and this circle. So we'll select this line, press control, select here circle and tangent. Now after giving a constraint of tangent, we'll go to the trim entities and we'll remove this unwanted portion of the line. And OK. Now we need to do the same procedure on another side over here. Select line, create a random line, then we'll select the line and the circle tangent similarly line circle and tangent select here trim and remove unwanted portion now here we need to create a close sketch uh, so what we'll do is we'll remove this portion because it is a continuous region over like this so we can remove this portion of the circle and we'll close the trim We'll exit the sketch. Now from here we can see that the depth of extrusion is of 15 mm. 
So we'll go to the features. We'll select here X-rated boss feature. And here the depth is of 15 mm. So we'll specify here 15. And okay. Now here we can see that we need to create the same flange on another side of let's say the right plane and for that we'll be using the mirror feature so let's go to the solidworks we'll select here the mirror feature now first it will ask the mirror face or plane so basically it is asking the plane about which the mirror will take place in our case it will be the right plane because the geometry is symmetric about the right plane after selecting the mirror plane it is asking for the features to mirror in that case we need to select here this flange that we have created using the boss x2 once you will select you can see the preview and we can just click on ok now after creating both the flanges we can see here we need to create a cuts over here and if we look at the depth then it will be 15 minus 12 that is of 3 mm and the distance of this cut from the center of the circle is of 24 mm. So again, let's go to the SOLIDWORKS. We'll go to the sketch and we'll select here the top plane as a sketching plane. And we'll select here normal view. So here first we'll create a rectangle using the corner rectangle. Like this. After creating the rectangle, we know that the distance of this edge from the center of the circle is of 24. So we'll select here smart dimension, select here this line and this, this distance is of 24, specify here 24. Now another thing that we need to give it, that is the length of the line. So from here we can see that it will be 16 plus 3 plus 3, that is 22. So here the depth or let's say the length is 22. Now again here we can see that the sketch is not a fully defined sketch. So let's say we'll define this length somewhat higher. Let's say 45 mm. And in order to make it fully defined, we'll exit the smart dimension. We'll select here the midpoint of this line. Press Ctrl and select here the origin. We'll select here vertical as a constraint and OK. Now here we can see that the sketch is fully defined. So we can exit the sketch. We'll go to the features and select here extruded cut feature. Now we want to create cut on both the sides of the sketching plane. So from here we'll select through all both. And OK. So as of now we have created both the flanges. Now we need to create this left hand portion. In order to create this portion, we'll be mainly using the ribs. So let's first create this bottom part of this component. For that, we need to create a sketch on the top plan. So again, we'll go to the SOLIDWORKS. We'll go to the sketch and select here the top plan as a sketching plan. And we'll select here normal. Now from this sketch, we can see that we need to create a circle with a diameter of 24 mm at a distance of 60 mm and here we need to create the fillet of radius 4 mm so from here we'll select here circle and let's first create a circle over here now after creating this circle the diameter is of 24 so we'll go to the smart dimension and assign diameter of 24 and the distance from the origin that is of 60 mm so enter is 60 now we'll exit the smart dimension now we'll select here center of circle press ctrl and select here origin and let's give it a vertical constraint and ok so now after creating this circle we need to create two lines over here that is the tangent to this circle so from here we'll select line and we'll create two lines over here one like this again we'll select here line and we'll create a line over here like this 
After creating these lines, we can select line, press Ctrl, select here the circle, make it here tangent. We'll do the same over here also. And okay. Now we know that the distance of this point from the edge is of 4 mm. So we'll go to the smart dimension, select here this point and this edge and this distance is of 4 mm. Again we'll do the same over here also. Now from here we can see that the sketch is fully defined. So we can exit the smart dimension, we'll select here trim entities and we'll remove this portion and ok so basically it is an open sketch that is touching the surface and using this sketch we can create rib so to create the rib we'll exit the sketch we'll go to the features and we'll select here rib now first we need to select here this sketch so we'll select here this sketch for the rib and here we can see that we want to add material within this space and here we can see that the thickness of the rib is of 9 mm so we can specify here distance as a 9 mm and we can just click on ok so after creating this rib from here we can see that we need to create an extrusion and again the diameter of this bigger circle is of 24 and the smaller one is 12 so let's go to the SOLIDWORX we'll go to the sketch and we'll select here this top face of the rib we'll go to the normal now here we'll select here the circle and we can create a circle over here like this then we can select here smart dimension and the diameter is of 24 ok now we'll go to the features and we'll select here extruded boss feature and from here the depth is again 18 minus 9 that is of 9 mm so we can specify here 9 mm and ok after creating this circle we need to remove some portion from the center and that is the diameter of 12 mm so we'll go to the solidworks we'll go to the sketch and we'll select here this top face and normal now we'll select here circle and we'll draw a circle with the diameter of 12 mm go to the smart dimension and the diameter is of 12 now after creating circle we'll exit the sketch we'll go to the features and select here extruded cut feature and from this drop down we can simply select through all both and ok now after creating this rib we need to create another rib over here and for that let's go to the solidworks we'll go to the sketch and this time we'll select here right plane as a sketching plane and we'll select here normal now first we need to create one line from this point to this circle here also we'll select here this line press ctrl and select here this edge and we'll give it tangent as a constraint and ok now here it's fully defined so we can just exit the sketch we'll go to the features and select here rib now here we want to add material on this space so here the direction is ok now here also we can see that the depth is of 9 mm or thickness is 9 mm so we already specified 9 mm and we can just click on ok now after creating this rib we can see here that we need to create fillets over here so in our case we'll create a fillet with the radius of 1 mm so we can select fillets and we can select all these edges over here before that we can specify here radius as a 1 mm and then we can specify all the edges for the fillet and ok so the part is ready now let's give it appearance so right click on part appearance and select here entire part and from here we can select any of the color and click on ok 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please hit on the like button and subscribe to this channel, KDKMC Tutorials. Thanks.